Because the, next, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make, I'm going to make some bread that's quite extraordinary. This is bread. And we're now going to actually just put some marinated um, carrot, uh, sorry, some um, mushroom, some bell pepper, um, do a tomato hummus. So the idea is you just arrange the little bits and pieces on the top, put the tomato, dribble the tomato hummus over it. Now these um, could do with another hour or two uh, in, the, um, in the dehydrator, but they're quite pliable, they're quite bread-like, and the, sec the secret basically is, yeah, the secret basically is in adding the psyllium. Now this is a time when you can use psyllium as food, okay, as opposed to a, a, a laxative. <laughs> Mm. Okay, so we're going to use the Vitamix again to pop in the cabbage, but I actually pop in the sprouted chickpeas. Now these are actually uh, chickpeas, they're organic chickpeas, which I suggest you buy and find. Soak them, soak them overnight, and then drop them into a sieve, colander, uh, and rinse them three or four times a day. And then what happens, they just activate. So this is live food. So even though these are de dehydrated, you're still dealing with live food, and that's the key to it. So all steps of the way, you've got live food. All right. So we'll just pop that in here. So were the chickpeas dried when you? The got chickpeas them? were dry, so you soak them overnight. Okay. Soften them up, and then bring them out into the atmosphere and allow them to sprout. And this time of the year, they sprout brilliantly because there's a bit of humidity, you know, um, which is just fab. And um, I'm just going to do a small, small batch, obviously, just to get things underway here, so you can see. So putting the red cabbage in with the sprouted chickpeas. I love red cabbage. Can add water to it, and then it's particularly dry. Just add a little bit of water. So you see that the moisture, the moisture in the um, cabbage basically, you know, brings it down beautifully. So that's basically what you're looking for. Yeah, colours awesome, yeah, absolutely brilliant. And again, using natural colours as part of your nut nutritional intake is is part of your relationship with all the food that you're you're eating from now on. All right. Um, so we'll just add a little bit of nutritional yeast to that as well. And play around with the quantities. I'm only just doing a small one to demonstrate this now. So adding the nutritional yeast just gives it an element of sweetness. Um, clove of garlic. Again, just a small one. Don't need to OD on it. To that. Now, the psyllium husks, um, which are here. You don't need a hell of a lot, just with a small quantity. Play around, when you first do this, just play around because I'm going to just show you what it looks like in order to get the consistency which works for what you want to achieve here. Uh, you actually want it to fall away from the sides of the, of the Vitamix uh, and when the water, because the psyllium will take up the water and give it the rubbing, rubberiness. By the way, it's about 8% protein in psyllium. It is a plant uh, and it's taken off the top, it's dried and we should all have a psyllium plant in our garden. So you can buy them and, and grow them, yeah. I'm just gonna put a dab of water in here, just a, just, a, just a notch. A little bit of salt, again. Okay, and a dab of pepper. Now these are, these are things basically that are all part of the antioxidant list. And the salts, of course, to keep your brain working. And give it a stir up. Normally, you'd probably do about two or three times the size of this stuff. Okay, now that's that's pretty well it. Um, I'll just show you what I'm what I'm meaning to. The best way to to actually 
get an impression on, on this is, uh, tastes good, is when you take that out, you're left with an indentation in the bottom. So let's just, let's just go in here now and just grab a, a wad of this and just drop it in. And the idea is just then pop this down. All right, you can twiddle it around if you want to. Take that off and you've got yourself one of those. Comes with it. Gefu again. Okay, so now that you've got the base done uh, and it's been sitting in the dehydrator for about, you know, six hours, six to eight hours, and you've got something that looks like this. And it's quite bread-like, actually, in the center. You can see how the consistency is bread-like. Then, these will actually store for several days in the refrigerator. You've got to work out what you're going to put on top. So you can actually think of a range of toppings. What I've chosen today is marinated mushrooms and marinated uh, bell pepper, both the yellow and the red bell pepper. And the thing about these is that they have been marinating for about 24 hours. And this is one of the keys to my approach to raw food is that you prepare it in a way that is easily digestible right now. Okay? Uh, you can marinate anything in this shape, size or form and you'll come out with the same sort of results. These, by the way, will keep, pardon me, will keep for a week to 10 days if they don't get eaten quicker. Now the tomatoes, which actually will go on this as well, I will not marinate, but you can if you want, because we're actually going to do a tomato hummus. Okay, I will actually add a few tomatoes to this when I come to plate, plate the thing up, but the tomato hummus is enough uh, in terms of actually giving you the marination. In that case, I use these here, which are sun-dried, semi-dried tomatoes, very sweet. Uh, in order to get something that looks hummusy and you don't want to use something that's fat, use zucchini. So just take the ends off. Very versatile and very um, nutritious. More nutritious with the skin on, I have to say. Um, but in this case, we want to achieve an end. When you take the skin off these, um, also makes wonderful um, pasta, okay, that you can add a mushroom sauce to, uh, and they, they won't know the difference. So we'll just take this off here. And this is just going to be a topping, but we'll probably be left with a bit more. So we're going to make a hummus from zucchini. It does have tahini in it. So just pop those into here. So much easier. I'll do, I'll do a good plate full here. Okay, um, now we'll put some of these in. And this is going to just be the sweetener and give it the color that we're looking for. Okay, uh, garlic. Now let's get the tahini going. Here it is here. You can get a black tahini. Have anybody had a black tahini? Awesome. Yeah, it's amazing. This is a hulled, hulled tahini, hulled sesame seed. So what, what's a black tahini? It's got the skin on it, so the, the seed is actually a black. Yep. It grows black with the white interior. Um, so this stuff here basically is hulled yep. sesame seed, yep. which gives you the, uh, the thing that you're looking for. Now these are from Daniel from Suncoast Limes. Uh, at the Noosa Farmers Market. He's a farmer um, up that way somewhere and he feeds me limes. And he does a lot of lime products. He's got a lime and chili salt which is really amazing. Did you see that last week? He was just alongside me. Dab of paprika. This is largely for the, for the top but I put that on there as well. And um, you can use some macadamia nut fines in here if you want to. Uh, but because this is nut free uh, we're not putting it in here, but you can if you want to. It just gives a little bit more base to it, thickens it up a bit. Yeah, um, Very sweet, can be used for both sweet and savory purposes. And again, they're all grown locally here. Everything's grown locally here, which is cool. A um, little bit of salt to go in here. I enjoy it. I love it. 
just put this on here and uh, Okay, so let's just have a little, a little taste here. There you go. Mm. It's gorgeous. It really is lovely. It's sweet and unctuous. So what I'll do is I'll just cheat a little and I'll just see, see how this tastes. The water's starting to... It's off. That's good. So I'm putting it in this because it's easier to top off these little things that I'm going to top up now. Now you can just serve that as is, um, but entirely gorgeous. So we, we just put this to one side. The idea is let's just put these out and plate them up. So again, you're looking to, to actually just wow for the wow factor. All right. Now, the idea is you just take, take a small couple of slices of this. That's the mushroom. And don't, you don't need to overburden it, but there's quite a bit of space on that. Okay, grab a little bit of this. And the yellow and red combination is just so cool. And I've cut... Wash your mouth out. Okay, so that's that. And then the idea is just Drizzle a little bit of this over the top. A little bit of time over the top. You really, I mean, you do this for your, your husband and your, or your wife. All right. So that is, that is dinner in its own right, but it's also uh, an hors d'oeuvre basically. Um, that's got really good um, thickness about it. It's not just some little piece of pastry with a bit of volavong type in the middle. It, this is absolutely brilliant. Okay, so the idea is to actually try and do the hummus last thing, and then basically just get it on as I've done now, done straight away. All right, so cool. Which we'll need. But. <laughs> okay, nut free, fat free, apart from a little bit of olive oil. You know, you, you still need your fats. All right, please help yourself. There's more. Yep. The recipe can be seen at my website, scottmathiasraw.com. And just press on the appropriate icon. There are recipes in there as well. And of course, links to my classes. And I look forward to seeing you. has been the most refreshing part of my entire life.